What's up, y'all? Cecil West, Beyond the Harmony, and of course, John Lippy. We're slowly working in sound effects. <laughs> All right, y'all. It's the question of the day. And the question for today is one, is one of my favorites. This, this is a question that I think I repeatedly ask on the show all the time. I think I've harassed John with varying forms of this question. But this one is near and dear to my heart. What is your favorite Bone Thugs album intro of all time and why? Well, I can tell you, I already know what yours is because I've heard about it for 20 years, but I think I might surprise you with mine, but I do have a reason for it. So my favorite intro is the intro on uh, Art of War Disc 2, World War 2, and that's the Mo Thug intro, and I th- and the reason why is because, <laughs> yeah, because Thug Love came right after it, and and so you would just, pop, I, I would just always pop in Disc 2, just hit play. And let that mo thug, mo thug, I don't know if you want to feel the, and then it would blend into thug love, and so I just heard that mo thug, mo thug, mo thug, mo thug, eternal bond. I heard it so many times that, and 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 I liked it. I was good with it. I know, I know what you're into, but I I was I just wanted something simple, and that was my that was always my favorite intro. I was good with the intro to this two on Art of War. I, I think that's what I I really love about the Art of War was like those interludes were really dope. Not not just like the the initial interludes, but like neighborhood slang and fucking blaze it. You know, just the the little interludes were cool. Like it it truly was like the way you want an interlude to be. It was like the pre song, and it was the pre song like you said. It was like that Mo Thug intro was pretty much part of thug love like why would you not even you just play that fucking thing before why even skip it you know um yeah you you probably know what mine is (laughs) if if i say this right now and you say i say something different i'm gonna be i'm gonna be fucking blown away but uh (laughs) my my favorite is the retaliation intro on on the art of war disc one Is, is that the one retaliation yeah no well you guys have no idea how many times i've heard cecil tell me over the years about how phenomenal how amazing uh the oh. war, art of war intro was book 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 it is the art it's of war so good. Yeah. oh my god <laughs> realize Beaches. recognize idolize yo uh i i just like i don't know man like okay the it, it, it's almost like the the trilogy, okay? Like the same way like the first three albums are like the the trilogy. Like the intros are the trilogy too. Like you could play the intro from Creepin, the intro from Eternal, and the intro to the first disc of Art of War all together you know what i mean they all got the ouija voice they're all kind of like hard as fuck but they also got like some singing in them and shit but like dude the art of war intro ha 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 guess who's back ah, <laughs> <laughs> that sound effect that Yo. kicks in just... <laughs> yeah, I, I would say that is probably the best it's just not my favorite how did you phrase this because <laughs> that intro is phenomenal, I, I agree with you. And you talked about it. I asked what it. the favorite is. I, I I definitely asked what the favorite is, not what the best is. So, uh yeah. It it just so happens that this is my favorite, <laughs> and and I think it's the fucking the best. I'm pretty sure that must be DJ Unique talking. Ah, uh, oh, you know, yeah. at the beginning, like in the Ouija voice, you know, because in the in the first one, it must be. Easy E, because Easy E was way into that shit. You, you've oh. talked about this intro more than you've talked about some of the hit songs that Bones made <laughs> over the years, dude. Because they don't make shit like this anymore. You know what I mean? Like, and and this is DJ Unique, I'm sure, but it's it's engineered so well. Like, it set the tone so well. You know, and then like 
They they move out of that Ouija voice. Yeah, Bone coming back at you bitches in the nine seven. Yeah, these motherfuckers didn't think it was on. Like you, these motherfuckers mean it. And then they're talking that rea- retaliation shit. And I always like tell people like I'm like all right. And and you'd think after now, what ninety seven two thousand twenty twenty one years of me playing it, like I still wouldn't get excited. But I still get excited, and they're all retaliation, and I'm and I just tell people, hold on, hold on, it's coming, it's coming, buck, 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 <laughs> bitches, and then I'm like, now it's time to sing for no reason. Whoa, we miss the art of war, yo, so so good. Um, I I love that intro. Close second is is the eternal intro. Um. But it, but I I love the creeping intro. I love both Motha or uh, Art of War intros rather, and um, I I fucking I you know I love them all. The Eternal intro. I will say too. I just fucked up and said Mothugs and and the Mothugs uh, family scriptures intro was fucking great as well. Oh yeah yeah yep yep. Yeah, the family scriptures intro is he, it's really he loves, great too because you got Trey loves, coming in kind of singing. Yeah, yeah, and and you just these intros are are the key to your heart. If Bone would just put these intros back in, I I, I think that's that's how he, uh, they they they'd steal you back. Well, dude, and and let me tell you what the other thing is, and and this will go with your harmony piece. I think it was their opportunity to do creative shit that they couldn't do for a whole song. You know yeah. what I mean? When you when you think of the family scriptures intro, it's like you couldn't have a whole song like this. But this is so cool to kind of hear Trey singing in this key and 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 crazy singing with them and shit. But it but it's not a whole song. You don't have a whole song. But like, it's so cool and so creative that you couldn't make a whole song out of it. But it's too genius to not make. And now I wonder. I'm like. Well, how much of this genius shit is just going at the wayside because they're like, well, there's no place to put this. There's no place to put this, you know, sips, you know, smoke, smoking on hydro. Like, think of how cool that could have been. Oh, man. Uh, as, as an intro somewhere. Um, it, it's, it's baffling so, that that so never yeah, came they're, out. Yeah. They're, they're the way to my heart because the the creative level is, is there. It's just a different level of creativity usually with with those intros and I, I forget what episode we talked about this on but i really thought when unified the world's enemy was coming back and it was dj unique i was like oh motherfucker it's about to happen like it's a flesh and bones back like there's no way the master of puppets isn't gonna let them fucking like put the ouija voice in here and just like I I couldn't have been more like disappointed with with the world's enemy. Yeah, in, that, in terms yeah. of like the intros and shit. Super let down, super let. But you know the, the intros. But it, the the ones that they did let you know that they put extra effort into composing an entire album thematically. And when you don't get these intros, you feel like it's just a whole bunch of singles just slapped on an album. Here you go. But when those first three albums, you felt like these albums mattered. And, uh, yeah. and I think that's like what was missing from Resurrection was that it just kind of just kicks in right away to a song and there's no intro. Yeah, yeah, no, I, yeah, it had a real small just them talking and, you know, that might have been the okay time to, to pause. Like, I didn't think so at the time, but Resurrection might have been the okay time for that to happen. And, and even, you know, Thug World Order and everything, but it was such a substantial fuck up to not bring it back um to not bring it back for unified you know what else holy fuck i i just thought of this one too hmm. running fuck <laughs> I, I i don't even know where you place this uh but but if if you just combined and say all the ouija intros are one I hated the L Burner album. I really do. I really don't like the L Burner album at all. Um, very, very little shit on that do I like. Like, limited. But the intro to the L Burner album is motherfucking phenomenal. That's the cruel and, to and the that bones. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Holy 
holy shit, do I love that. I, I was like, this is... I I was really excited the first time I popped in the Lazy Bone album and, and that started playing because I thought, oh, fuck yeah. Oh, it's going to... Lazy, crazy, busy, wishing flesh might... Nah, it all, it all went to hell after that. But that intro is really good. Um... I thought but when that, I heard that, I was like, oh, man, we might get a, a Bone thugs and harmony Christmas album. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo. Okay, guys, we want to know what is your favorite album intro? And you can go solos. You can go groups. Just let us know what your favorite album intro is in the comments below. I picked Retaliation. John picked Mo Thug, both from The Art of War. Let us know what you guys think. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Beyond the Harmony, beyondtheharmony.com. Don't forget to share this with another Bone fan. We'll catch you guys next time. Beyond the Harmony for the